Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Now we all love these nice hot evening snacks and I've made several recipes with potatoes. I'll give you a couple of links, you can check them out in the description. And today adding to that list of recipes, I'm going to share another wonderful recipe. This is potato wedges. So let's get started and check out the recipe. Wash the potatoes nice and clean, peel the skin, cut them into wedges and drop it in a bowl of water. So we're going to boil the potato pieces. So to the pot, take enough water for boiling. So I'm just adding half teaspoon of salt to the water. Now just drop in the potato pieces. We're going to boil the potatoes till they are three-fourth cooked. The potato pieces are about three-fourth cooked. Strain them and keep it aside. So the flour mixture contains half cup of maida or all-purpose flour. 2 tablespoons of corn flour. Season it with half teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of pepper. So I'm just going to add quarter teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder instead of paprika. So this is going to give you a nice color. Just mix everything. So we're going to double coat this first with the dry flour. So just add the potato pieces. So these are 3 fourth cooked. Coat it with a dry flour first. Just keep it aside on a plate. After dusting the potato wedges to the remaining flour, pour a little water and mix it nicely. And make a batter. So gradually pour some water to make a nice batter. It shouldn't be too thick or too runny, just enough to coat the pieces. So you can see this is a bit thick. I'm just going to add a little more water. Yeah, this is good enough. So the batter is ready. So next we're going to deep fry the potato pieces. So I'm taking a nice wide pan so it'll be easier to fry them so they won't stick to each other while frying them. So if you want to take a kadai, it's up to you. You can also use a kadai to deep fry the potatoes. Now dip the dusted wedges into the batter. Make sure it's coated completely. And gently drop it into the hot oil. Fry them till they are a nice golden brown colour. Maintain the flame on medium. You can see the potato wedges are nice and crispy. Remove them from the oil and keep it aside. To make the potato wedges more flavourful, I'm going to add a little butter to the pan. Next to the pan, add some chopped garlic. 1 teaspoon chilli flakes. 1 teaspoon oregano or Italian herbs, you can use whatever you have. So we're just seasoning the potato wedges to give it a nice twist and a nice flavour to it. These are garlic potato wedges, so we're going to get that nice garlicky flavour in. So those of you who don't like garlic, you can actually do this without the garlic. Just add the chilli flakes and the oregano. Just fry the garlic till it's about golden colour. You don't want it too brown. So saute for about 2-3 to three minutes on medium low flame. Now I'm just going to gently drop in the potato wedges. So you can increase the flame to a medium. Just toss it all in there. Gently mix it. I'm going to finish off by just sprinkling a little salt. Just to season it. Chilli powder, you can also use paprika powder, just a little to keep that extra flavouring. 
it's just the finishing touches toss it one more time wow the garlic potato wedges are done they look absolutely fantastic you can serve them with some nice spicy mayo dip or with some ketchup by the side Wow, those potato wedges look absolutely delicious. They're nice and crispy. And see the final garnish with that nice garlic, chili flakes and oregano is going to give that extra punch and flavor to the potato wedges. So you can serve them nice and hot with some nice spicy mayo dip or some nice ketchup by the side.